Using expressions that are commonly used by native English speakers will make you sound like you're much more advanced at English. I'm going to show you my top seven proverbs in this video, what they are and how to use them. So are you ready to improve your English speaking better and faster than you ever thought possible? Great, let's go. Welcome to my channel where you will learn English better. I'm Deirdre Nicholas and for over 20 years I've helped thousands of English learners all over the world learn their English better and now it's your turn. For the very best English language lessons and a new way to learn English that really works, subscribe to my channel by pressing on the red button and the bell so that you don't miss any of my twice weekly lessons. So by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to use my top seven proverbs to increase your English language and to sound more advanced. So first of all, what is a proverb? Well, proverbs are short sayings or wise sayings, which often give advice in a particular situation or a context or talk about something that is generally true. Every culture has their own proverbs and you can actually learn something about the culture if you learn some of the proverbs. You'll hear them all the time in conversation between English native speakers and in films and in books as well. Learning proverbs is a great example of the importance of learning English phrases and not just words, which is one of my five secrets um, to learning English, which I'll put the card up above for. So let's get started right away with my top seven English ones. Number one, better late than never. Now this is a very old proverb, first recorded in England about a thousand years ago, but very much used now. It means that it is best to do something on time or arrive somewhere on time. However, if you can't do it on time, it's better to do it late than not at all. So for example, he handed in his homework two days late. Better late than never, I said to him. Proverb number two, actions speak louder than words. So this means that what someone actually does means more than what they actually say they will do. Just saying that you will do something doesn't mean very much until you actually do it. So an example is, he always talked about helping with the housework, but he never did anything. Actions speak louder than words. Number three, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And sometimes this is even shortened to just when in Rome. And everyone knows what you mean. This means that when you are in a new place or a new situation or a new country, try to fit in by acting like all the other people in that place or situation or that country. So this is especially important when you visit another country with its different customs and culture. So an example might be, you've been eating a lot more cheese than normal on your holiday in France. Well, when in Rome, of course, this is to do with the person adopting the local custom in France of eating a lot of cheese. Proverb number four. This is a really useful one. Practice makes perfect. Now, this is very often used and it basically means what it says. The more you practice at something, the better you will be. And in fact, if you remember, this is one of my three secrets to learning English like a native speaker. Regularly doing an activity makes you good at it. So for example, don't give up on playing football. Practice makes perfect. I know you will be great. Proverb number five, beggars can't be choosers. So if you're in a bad situation and someone offers to help you, you have to take whatever they give you and you shouldn't expect any more. So for example, there is only one shop where we can buy furniture in this town. So we will have to buy the chair there. After all, Beggars can't be choosers. Number six, two heads are better than one. This is quite a simple proverb, meaning obviously that when people work together and cooperate with each other, they have much better ideas and much better things happen. And it's all about teamwork, really. It's easier to do something with someone else than on your own. So for example, I'm having problems with this project. Can you help me, please? Two heads are better than one. 
and my final top seven English pro proverbs. Birds of a feather flock together. People like to spend time with others who are similar to them and they like the same things. So for example, I didn't realize there would be so many people at this musical event. Birds of a feather flock together, don't they? So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, I'd love to hear from you. So please write your comments in the section below. Don't forget, I post two lessons a week, one on a Tuesday and one on a Friday. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my lessons. So enjoy learning your English and I'll see you really soon. Bye.